Do you think this man had this woman search for prostitutes online just for them to have with her? It's something fishy about that, bro. Honey, I'm gonna need you to grab a chair for this one cause things just got freaky in the Diddy camp. See, when Cassie mentioned in her lawsuit that Diddy forced her to hook up with male hookers while he watched, apparently she wasn't the only one involved in the freak offs. Diddy was also getting some big black. And is Usher finally opening up about how he also got an STD from Brother Love? Told you, you need to be comfortable for this one. They had to be for both of them, they was in the room. Right? You're right. It's a freak off session. Right? She said it's a freak off session. If she says a freak off session, brother, she ain't the only one freaking off. The prostitute ain't the only one freaking off. Girl, trust Gene Deal to give you the tea you really want to hear about Diddy. And one thing about Gene, he never minces his words. Well, he's been spilling about Diddy for years with a lot of people calling him crazy. But do y'all realize that the things Gene has been saying over the years are the same things that have come out about Diddy as of late? Now, the freak offs that he is talking about is what Cassie mentioned in her lawsuit, where she said the freak offs involved costumes like masquerade masks, and lingerie, and they continued for years taking place at high-end hotels across the United States and in Diddy's homes. Apparently, Cassie was required to dress up in lingerie for a freak-off, and Diddy insisted she wear white nail polish to contrast her nails with the skin of the black men he hired to hook up with her. And Diddy recorded everything. Based on what Cassie said, she would delete videos from these incidents that had been shot on her phone, but Diddy told told her he still had access to all those videos. What Gene is saying is that it doesn't make sense that Cassie was the one who went looking for the male hookers and then just watched as they did their thing with Cassie. And I would understand why Gene would insist that Diddy was also getting some BBC himself. I mean, we've all heard the stories of Diddy being on the DL and some of them from people who experienced it firsthand. Like, can we talk about Usher and what he had to go through when he was under Diddy's wing? When Usher was first signed to the face record, as a young teen, he was given to Diddy as a mentor. And at 14 years old, Usher moved to New York to stay with Diddy. Yup, you heard that right. Usher was only 14. And Usher himself said that the things he witnessed when he was staying with Diddy at what Diddy called the flavor camp, a boy his age should never have experienced those things. So I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, and it was, <laughs> but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking Looking at it was it was pretty wild. In fact, according to Usher, the things he witnessed were so wild that as a dad, he would never let his son attend Diddy's flavor camp. Fourteen years old, you're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to puffy camp? <laughs> you Hell know? no. You know there were actually people who witnessed Diddy exposing Usher to very questionable things. Like Ed Lover once recalled the time when he went to a club and Usher was drinking straight from a bottle in the company of Diddy, and he was just fourteen or fifteen at the time. Now, can you imagine? Imagine what else was happening behind closed doors. Baby, your guess is as good as mine. There was actually a time when Usher was on the cover of Essence magazine and he sort of let it slip that something did go down between him and Diddy. First of all, he was very cool when asked about other things like how he would continue to pursue movie projects and somewhere down the road, a new album and several business ventures. But according to the publication, when the talk turned to his time living with Diddy, Usher became surprisingly restrained and he said, I want to save some ish for my book one day. I'll put it this way. There was a lot of S-E-X. Okay, at this point, I think I'm a little scared for Usher because it hasn't ended well for people who have written books mentioning Diddy. But maybe with everything coming to light about Brother Love, Usher could actually successfully put out a book that would spill all the tea. By the way, it's not just been about what Usher himself has said. I mean, there have been comments Diddy has made about Usher that were just pretty sus. Like that one time when he was telling Kevin heart about waking up next to Usher. To my brother right here from day one, we used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, just out. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the over the Frosted Flakes, you know what I'm saying? And there was this other time when Diddy was complimenting Usher, and it really looked like he was also checking him out and talking about Usher eating his cereal in his kitchen. Take your time with it. Breathe it in. 
Yeah, they yours when you go see this for you. This ain't for nobody else but you. You take your time, boy. I see you. Fly ass motherfucker doing baby. You were in the kitchen. Eating all my cereal. <laughs> now, there have also been allegations that have been around for a while, saying that Diddy gave Usher an STD. In fact, that is allegedly one of the things that was supposed to come up in the book that Kim Porter was writing, which disappeared just before she died. Allegedly, the book covered in detail how Diddy was into BBCs and slept with different men on multiple occasions, and how Usher's mom confronted Diddy about allegedly being intimate with Usher and giving him an STD. STD after she found out what was going on. Allegedly, Kim also had video footage of Diddy taking advantage of Usher, but that also disappeared because just before she died, someone broke into her house and only her laptops were stolen. Kim know all his deepest secrets. You understand? Kim knew why he was using the butt plugs. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's the same STD that Usher was getting sued over, because there's a time a woman named Quantasia Sharpton, along with the Jane Doe and John Doe, who sued Usher, claiming they all had relations with Usher. And they all said he risked their health by not telling them about his alleged herpes diagnosis and were seeking unspecified damages. The woman who did not identify herself said that she slept with Usher at least twice. And after contracting herpes from him, her twins were stillborn. So maybe he got that from Diddy. Also, when it comes to Diddy, we can't ignore the number of times people have said that they have receipts that he is definitely on the DL. For starters, Gene Deal previously said that he witnessed something very questionable when he was watching Diddy's door at a hotel. He said, yo, Gene, watch the door. Don't let nobody come through here. And I said, I watched the door. If I watched the door and him and a man ran out naked, and I said that, I ain't nobody told me that. I saw that myself. There's also Jaguar Wright, who once talked about a lawyer who walked in on Diddy and Christopher Williams, and they did not even stop. When she walked in, the door wasn't locked, so she didn't think twice about just walking in. And when she walked in, she saw uh, Christopher Williams performing on Puff. Now, from what she said to me, um, it was disturbing because you know, they didn't stop. And Exhibit also once revealed that Diddy treated him to the gayest night of his life. So then, uh, you know, he, he's doing his business. We go down and get a drink. You know, we sitting there bobbing to the music. And then she say, she point over the corner. It's two dudes kissing. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, this. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay. Then it's girls in the club too. And then she point another direction. It's another dude over there like, but. In addition, there's how 50 Cent also said he couldn't believe it when Diddy wanted to take him shopping. Stop. Then he was like, yo, he's like, yo, so yo, when we gonna get the chance to, you know, to kick it, like, we can just hang out. We gotta, we gotta oh, kick that. it. This is Puff. Okay. He's telling me we gotta kick it. And he was like, yo, why don't we, like, go shopping? I mean, like, I pay for it. And I was like, fuck this nigga just said. <laughs> <laughs> I got the fuck away from him because I was like, this nigga. This nigga, like, this nigga just tell me he'd take me shopping. <laughs> So if we are talking about Diddy being obsessed with BBCs, honey, there's enough talk about that already. I personally can bet that it's only a matter of time before men also start giving their accounts about what Diddy did to them. Maybe Usher is the one about to set that ball rolling like Cassie did. I'ma keep my ears rooted to the ground for that, but meanwhile, let me know your thoughts on Diddy allegedly being obsessed with BBCs. And do you think Usher could possibly be building his story? Drop those thoughts in the comments section below.